what is up you guys it's Red Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and I'm just going to let you guys know my shadow series is going to be starting very soon so if you guys want to get a free intro and a free shadow make sure you guys do subscribe and be active on the channel and without further ado I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a sync intro using power director and yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video peace Way back then, girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. What is up you guys? It's Wrath Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a pretty good, really cool, simple uh, simple sync intro using power director so for this you guys will need a couple watch which is photoshop touch pixel lab and power director of course and this is the one without video uh with video layer and if you guys don't have video layer i'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out check out the video on how to get video layer but um i'll also put a link in the description so you guys can get photoshop touch and pixel lab that's just free in a play store you guys can easily search it up so first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and ahead open up pixel lab now what you guys have opened up pixel lab now what you guys will need to do is simply come over and just simply tap tap the default and what you guys have done that is tap on this a right here and go to go ahead and go to edit what you guys are here is simply tap type in the name that you guys wish that you guys want so for this i'm gonna put wrath now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is simply come over to font and change the font to whatever font you guys want so now what you guys have done that i'm gonna choose this one as usual and now what you guys have done that simply increase the size so the size is right over here so just increase it just a bit probably to like 30 yeah 130 now what you guys have done that simply come over to stroke and enable the stroke and put it to 10 now that you guys have done that you guys are almost done but what you guys want to do now is simply come over into 3d text and enable the 3d text and simply decrease the depth just to 20. now that you guys have done that now um, i'm just going to go on ahead and just increase the size of just a bit more so now what you guys have done that simply come over and go into color once you guys are in color you guys get to choose whatever color you guys wish so for this i want the w only one color so um i might put it red yeah i'm gonna put it red now what you guys have done that that what you guys will need to do is simply come over into emboss and then enable emboss and as you guys can see you guys will get that nice little 3d-ish look right there where it has a shine so as you guys can see if i move it around it will have a nice shine to it right there so you guys want to put it like right there in that little like that corner so it will shine like that so now what you guys have done that just simply press the check mark and after that just simply tap on these uh, double squares and go to transparent and once you guys have done that simply save it as an image go to save as image and just simply save to gallery once you guys have opened up photoshop touch now what you guys would need to do is tap on this plus sign right here and simply type in 12 uh 1280 by 720p which i'm gonna do right here now what you guys have done now just simply press ok now press this little plus sign right here and go to photo layer what you guys have over the photo layer now what you guys will need to do is simply choose any background that you guys wish so it does not matter it does not matter um so it does not matter which background you choose so for this what you guys want to do once you guys have chosen your background now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this and go to fill the stroke and now what you guys have done is simply press um to choose whatever color you guys want so for this i'm gonna put white and now what you guys want to do is simply tap on this plus sign and go to duplicate layer and duplicate it once more now what you guys have done that simply tap on this uh and sign again and go to fill the stroke and then now what you guys would need to do is tap put it black now that you guys have done that simply tap on this and bring it back up as you guys can see right here so the very top is right there so i'm gonna bring it over and i'm just gonna slightly pull it down to like right there now now that you guys as you guys can see you guys will get that and now you guys can easily simply duplicate it you guys don't need another one so i'm gonna duplicate this one uh duplicate it because i mean if it's lopsided or if the other one is bigger it look weird so i'm just gonna drag this one going and drag this one all the way down now that you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this plus sign and go to photo layer and then go into pixel lab 
Once you guys have opened up your photo layer and stuff, now what you guys would need to do is go into Pixel App and grab your picture, which I have right here. So I'm gonna increase the size and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because to me that's a little bit too big. Yeah, so yeah, that looks nice. So now what you guys have done that, now what you guys would need to do is tap on the white background, which is right here, and go to N and go to gradient. Now what you guys have done that, you guys get to resize it as, wish, as you wish. So I'm gonna keep it right there. Now that you guys have done that, now what you guys would need to do is simply duplicate this layer right here. And then now what you guys have done that, now what you guys have duplicated it, now what you guys would need to do is simply tap on this effects and go into, go into glass. And now what you guys have done that, you guys can turn up the scale as you guys wish. So, and then you guys can put the amount. And as you guys can see, you guys will see a bunch of like stuff like that. It look like little particles around it. So I'm gonna increase the size to one once again, which is right there. And you guys get to increase the size. So I'm gonna keep it right there. You guys want to your text. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'll meet you guys in Power Director. Once you guys have opened up Power Director, and as you guys can see, you guys will get that little drag motion if you guys put in your image and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that you guys won't want that. So if you guys want to get rid of it, all you guys got to do is tap on it and tap on this pencil. It's going to give you a little tutorial, which is fucking annoying. But <laughs> you want to tap on this pencil right here and go to pan and zoom. And what you want to do is choose no effect and go apply to all. And as you guys can see, you will get rid of the animation. Now what you guys will need to do is simply make the uh, the second longer which mine is going to be 10 seconds probably 11 i guess you could say and now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is simply choose your music and i'm gonna be right back Sometimes I'm is right here whoops i'm gonna undo that so once you guys have found your drop now what you guys would need to do is simply tap on it and press this little box cut and then simply delete this and drag this one back so now you guys get something so now as you guys can see i'm gonna make it a little bit longer and the thing I would like about this is if you guys would actually kind of like put in a um put in a overlay. So I'm, so yes, if you guys are curious, I actually did make a red one. So which is right here. So we're going to go to the end. We're right here. So um, we're going to resize it like that, and we're going to cut it, and we're going to remove it. So now you get something like this. Something like that. So now what you guys have done that. Now what you guys will need to do. Um, I'm probably going to um, um, make it a little bit longer. I guess you could say. And then now what you guys have gotten your, your base in and stuff. Um, right now I'm just going to go in the heading box cut this i like calling the box cut but um yeah <laughs> you're gonna box, box cut it and move this back a little bit weekend, like and which now as you guys can see the beat drops right there and what i'm going to do with this one is i'm gonna completely mute it so now you guys want to hear the audio So now what you guys will need to do is find your drop, which I'm going to do real quick. Weekend, like which mine is right there. So make sure you guys keep an eye on that blue mark right here. The second, the time marker right there. So, weekend, like so um, I didn't get to say it. What was it? I'm sorry, guys. 3.8 so now as you guys can see is it was 3.8 so you guys want to move back two seconds or two uh for milliseconds and box cut and move ahead two milliseconds as well so it was 2.8 so i need to move up to 3.9 and then now what you guys would need to do is simply go and drag it into the middle and go into effects 
and add in a beating. You guys don't need to change it. You guys can change it however you guys like, but I'm not. So. So, yeah, so now what you guys have done that, just simply go a second ahead more, which is right there, and box cut once more, and do the same routine. So, go to effects and go into beating, and let's go. So, yeah, so now you guys just have to like this. So when you guys hear that clap, what I like to do is kind of mix it up. So that clap starts right here. So I'm gonna come right back to it. And this time I'm gonna add in a drain right here. So it looked like this. So yes, um, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna undo that part and I'm gonna make it a few more seconds longer, which is probably right there. That'll probably be good. Um, do drain. Then I use do something like this. Yes, I like that. So now what you guys would need to do is simply go back into it, box cut again, and add in one more beating for the for the drop, which is right here. So now it looks something like this. So now I'm sorry. So yeah, so once you guys have now what you guys will need to do is simply find it another drop. Which mine's is right here. I forgot to keep an eye on it. Right here. So now what you guys want to do now is simply, hold on, I'm going to replay it. Okay. 5.7. So it's 5.7 seconds. So again, whoops, I'm then not meaning 5.7. Um, I'm going to come back two more frames right there. And then I'm going to box cut. And then now what you guys want to do is simply come right here, box cut once more. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it, I'm going to edit this. And what I'm going to do now is simply flip. Whoops. No, not flip. Um, what I'm going to do now, I forgot what it was. You know what? Screw it. What we're going to do now is simply rotate. We're going to have it go upside down. So it looks like this. So yeah, and then what you guys want to do is simply come right here, another box cut, and simply add in another effects, and you guys can add in a mirror, um, which is, I'm pretty sure they have a mirror up in here. Swing, squeeze, blur, I'm gonna add in a blur, oops, wrong, wrong, wrong one, my bad, <laughs> my bad, uh, right here. Um, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to add a blur in this one right here. So I'm going to do that real quick. A blur. Uh, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like, you know, a little black and white image right there. And then what I'm going to do for this one is um, I'm going to have a mirror. So I'm going to go to effects and here comes mirror right here. And then now it'll look like this. So yeah, what you guys have done is just simply customize it as you guys like. So what I'm going to do. So yeah, so it starts it starts again right here. So I'm gonna do another box cut right here and right here as well. And then we're gonna do the same routine. And you guys pretty much get the point from now. Just customize it as you guys like. Um, and you guys can do whatever you guys want, you know. So just um, add in another beating.
so yes uh you guys might want to choose like a song that can really sync uh will it will be easy to sync but yeah you know that's pretty much it for this tutorial you guys and this is basically to show you guys how you guys can make like a a nice 2d uh um whatchamacallit a 2d sync intro using uh power director instead of time master many of you guys suggested this video so you know uh, if you guys suggest it i'm gonna bring it to you guys so yeah so you know so yes that actually looks pretty nice so now what i'm going to do is for the last base is i'm just going to add in a color edge for the last base and then what i'm going to do is i'm gonna cut this part out and now what i'm going to do is tap on this whoops i'm gonna tap on this and actually i'm gonna undo this yeah i'm gonna undo this um so now it looks up that i So yes, and I'm adding one more base right here, and I'm adding a beating, and then I'm pretty much done with this intro. And before I end off this video, what you guys want to do, because if you guys end the intro and you guys render it, so as you guys can see, it will complete still play. So what you guys want to do is simply cut this part, uh, cut this part of the music out, and just remove it. So now you'll be rendering 10 seconds of your intro or 12 seconds. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please slap the like button. And if you guys um, want any more intro tutorials, comment down below so I can have an idea of which tutorial to bring you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys. And